Hi, um, I'm Holly Bitts. I'm the marketing manager for Linden Square, and today we have our Lovin' Linden Beauty Stroll. Um, we're so excited to have the Ellie Fund here um, to help uh, support the breast cancer patients and receiving the extra care that they oftentimes don't get. The event is from 11 to 3. And we have all kinds of fun beauty activities, makeup, hair, skin consultations. Uh, our personal stylist, Shift Your Style, is here today to help with um, style consultations and recommendations for what looks uh, fit your body type best. And we have activities for the kids as well. We have a kids carnival um, next to Bach to Rock, which is our new music school. They're doing... Um, you know, face painting, balloon art, music activities, frisbee, all kinds of fun stuff. So Sarah Campbell uh, is offering a discount today. 10% of the proceeds are going to benefit the LA Fund. All kinds of great stuff. And you can check it all out at shoplindensquare.com. The Love in London Beauty Stroll. If you all would mind just gathering around, we have Kelly Tuthill former Channel 5 news anchor and um, board of the Ellie Fund here to give a little kickoff speech to today's events. So she's going to give a little pep talk and then afterwards if you would love to make um, you know, a donation to the Ellie Fund or purchase a raffle ticket, uh, we have them here at the table. Um, the prize is a gift basket valued at over $1,000 um, from the local stores here at Linden Square. And then make sure you grab a list of activities for today. We have a lot going on from 11 to 3. A lot of beauty, hair, makeup, skin consultations. We have Shift Your Style here um, to give uh, style consultations on your body shape and the best outfits that would you know accentuate that. So lots of good stuff. All right, I'm going to turn it over to Kelly. Thank you so much for coming. Thanks for having me here. Well, this is a great way to kick off Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so thank you, everyone. I'm really happy that the Linden Square tenants are participating in the Do Good uh, campaign as we kick off this important month of awareness for breast cancer. I'm Kelly Tuthill, and I worked for many years at Channel 5. I'm also a 10-year breast cancer survivor and one who's very lucky to be here with my daughters Madeline, Cece, and Scarlett. So proof that there's life after breast cancer, because this one came almost 10 years after my diagnosis. So um, I'm living proof that our treatments are working, but it's still a really long road for our patients going through breast cancer treatment. And that's why the Ellie Fund is so important. They step in and provide meals and childcare, and house cleaning services, transportation to treatments, all the things that women and their families need as they go through the challenging road of getting better, as I did. So today we're so happy because we have the tenants participating in this. I am wearing Sarah Campbell. I've been friends with Sarah for many years and I think Sarah epitomizes a business um, owner with a heart. She has always answered the call when the Ellie Fund has asked for her support. And as part of the Shop for a Cause, 10% of your purchases today at Sarah Campbell will go directly to the Ellie Fund and benefit women and their families in our community going through breast cancer treatment. So I encourage you to shop at all the stores here. There are personal style consultations going on, as we mentioned. There's kids' activities. Uh, there's a raffle going on right here with a fabulous prize this deluxe gift basket from all our tenants here at Linden Square. And the first 100 people who purchase raffle tickets get swag bags. Cece and Maddie, show your swag bags. Ooh. Okay, so there's a little incentive. Um, we're also at the Ellie Fund pleased to say that there's a lot of do-good partners that we'll tell you about as the month goes on. So as you're eating around town and in our community, shopping, look for our partners because they're the ones that said this month, instead of just throwing a pink ribbon on it or wearing pink or doing something where we don't know where the money's going to go, they're committing that a percentage of the proceeds they make in the month of October will stay in our community and go to breast cancer patients through the Ellie Fund. So you don't have to worry about pink being meaningless, this means something and it's making a huge impact on patients in our neighborhood. So thank you for your support. Shop away. You're allowed today. Tell your husbands, I said it was okay. It's for a great cause. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. And um, the Ellie Fund appreciates all the support of everyone here at Linden Square and here in the Wellesley and surrounding communities.
Stroll today here at Bellasante. We're doing skin scope consultations. So this is when you actually get to peer through this viewfinder here and you can see that it's lit up um, with an LED light and there's a mirror inside so you can see yourself and then I can see you on the other end. Um, it works best typically with skin that's completely cleansed because you can see makeup, um, but it enables you to see freckles, sun damage, things that are underneath the surface of the skin um, that you typically don't see in broad daylight or with makeup on um, so that we can assess um, a treatment plan and, and pretty much figure out what might be best for your skin. And most of the time, the first thing I'm always gonna say is sunscreen. <laughs> so making sure that you're cleansing your skin daily, moisturizing appropriately to your skin type. So for example, let's say you have skin that tends to be dry in the cheeks and then oily in the T-zone. You would use a cleanser and moisturizer that's meant for combination of skin. Um, another thing that's very, very important for the skin is yep. antioxidants, yep. So and that's using vitamin C every morning, which helps to protect the skin from the sun and from the environment, as well as sunscreen. The role we're playing today is to help people understand the best way to tie scarves. Mm -hmm. There's so many different ways that you can tie a scarf, and mm -hmm. we're here to demonstrate many different ways to do that. I twirl, I knot, and I tie. And, and you can make it look different all the time. Well, the best way to start with a scarf is just to put it in your hands just like this. It looks like a long mm -hmm. snake. And all you do is wrap it around and you can just leave it just like this. If I had a mirror, I could see how it looks, but looks you can tell me, does it look good? Okay, good. Right. This would be the basic way. And this is another way. Jane uh, is a master at tying a scarf, but she's waiting on a customer right now. But she taught me to fold in the ends of the scarf. Where is she? She's not here. Um, fold the in the ends. You see what I've just done? I've just sort of tucked them in and made it look a little differently. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what the name is, but it's just a way to make the scarf um, stay put rather than having the longer tails in the basic arrangement. So those are two ways you can tie a scarf. Well, our director of marketing actually um, put this whole event together and asked us what would we like to do. So we decided this is something that we could offer people and we're also giving 20% off any scarf purchase that's made today during the event. And we're offering, I think we're going to have chocolates that we're going to be giving out later. She was going to bring them by. And we just want to talk to people in a, in a way that's not selling, just to inform people. So we decided this would be a great role for us. So this is an infinity scarf. So we sell it just like this. To wear it, all you have to do is put it on over your head, twist it, and it becomes like a cowl neck. So that's a very popular scarf right now for, for women and for girls. And then we have lots of faux fur scarves. Again, infinity, you can just drape it right over, your, you can put it right over your head and wear it just like this, or a smaller person could twist it and make it like a, a little turtleneck. So we've got so many options. And you can see we have scarves that you can wear as a wrap, like this. It's a, um, it could be, a poncho could be a wrap. It's a great thing to put on when you're in the car and it's a little drafty. If someone likes air conditioning and you don't, this is a great thing to put on in the car. So Bach to Rock, so the beauty stroll is involving a lot of the businesses located here in Linden Square today. And we are bringing some fun entertainment to the group today. And we have some face painting outside for the kids, carnival games, and then we're offering for the mothers that are joining today to be able to record in our professional state of the art studio. We're gonna be doing girls just wanna have fun for the beauty stroll today. So we're gonna have it tied in with a fun um, mom power kind of vibe going on today. Okay. The Beauty Stroll, we are featuring our proprietary products, which are our M61 brand, as well as our Lunar, Lunar Aster brand, which are Bloom Mercury brands. And so we're doing mini glow and go facial, facials, as well as Lunar and Aster makeup in minutes, basically. So we're doing that on our customers today. Mini facial, we do our little peel. We do a cleanse, then we do our little peel, and then we'll, use, we'll follow up with our serum and then our moisturizer. But we have a full-time esthetician here, Ellen, so we do facials in the back room as well as waxing. Blue Mercury is a pretty amazing company. It's been around for 17 years. Um, this is the 107th store. We're up to 112 stores. 
um, and we are all about one-on-one -on -one customer service so we're, we really get to know our clients there's not a push it's not a commission-based environment so we're really all about the client and servicing their needs so it becomes like a girlfriend's place to go and come and play it's like a candy store for our clients we have men's products. We have Jack Black at this location. We will probably get more men's products as well. But a lot of our brands are for men and women. SkinCeuticals is a great doctor's brand, um, dermatological brand, as well as some of our other products. So we, we encourage men to come here, absolutely. Uh, well, we were um, actually um, just lucky enough that uh, we were able to um, dress Kelly. Uh, in some of uh, Sarah Campbell clothing, uh, which she just absolutely looks stunning. Um, we had our signature silk macker dress and coat. Uh, and a funny story is uh, Kelly literally just came off the soccer field with her small kids. I'm not her, well, her young kids, and uh, got dressed in about 15 minutes. Uh, so it. Uh, it was transformational. I know Sarah Campbell is involved with other, a, lot, a lot of charities. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, it's very important to her to give back to the charities that are near and dear to her heart, and the Ellie Fund is one of those. And I know she's been supporting the Ellie Fund for many years, I think since, since the um, beginning of her uh, work in retail stores. So we are donating 10% of our sales uh, to the Ellie Fund. Uh, for the entire day. Uh, we also are, during the month of October, uh, we will be selling uh, pink, uh, plenty of pink silk cashmere ruanas, and we're also uh, raffling off uh, one of them uh, over the course of the month uh, to go towards the LA Fund as well.